as you just saw, I did it again. I hurt myself and it's a really good but pretty stupid story. But I'll tell you guys that later in the video. I'm also gonna show you my best recipe as of the last couple of weeks, it's so good. So I'll show you that later in the video as well. But welcome to a full day of eating as a vegan bodybuilder who hurt himself. And I'm gonna show you all the things that I eat in a single day to gain muscle, a lot of easy and high protein meals. As you saw, I just did a workout, which is kind of modified because my foot can't plant on the ground. Uh, so I basically did 100 push up or pull ups and then I did a bunch of like rows and curls with my elastic bands. First workout back and it, it went pretty well. So now we're gonna get in the kitchen and we're gonna make this first meal. Hope you guys enjoy this. God that Sammy's here uh, because filming a full day of eating is really tough right now. I'm hobbling friggin' everywhere. I broke two bones in my foot. Again, I'll tell you the story later. But anyways, we're starting with this super bomb bowl of fruit. So as you saw, I put chili powder, I put lemon juice and salt as the seasoning, and then I just cut up watermelon and pineapple. So this, like where I live in California and San Diego, we're really close to Mexico, and it's basically like tahini, which is like basically chili powder with salt and lime, uh, and you put it on fruits and it's so freaking good, but if you've never tried it before, you're either A, gonna love it, or B, you're not gonna love it, and then you're gonna grow to love it. It's really good. So, I got my bowl right here, and I just got my first workout in after a week of just laying in bed and ricing my, my foot. So I'm getting some calories, some carbs, and some protein. As you saw, I did the Viva Life protein shake with creatine, so it's just got ripple milk in it, which has even more protein. It's like a pea-based protein milk. And yeah, so a little protein here, a little bowl of fruit there, and we've got a good start to our morning. Mmm, try this, it's so good. So I wanna talk about today's sponsor of the video, which is Native Deodorant. This is by far me and Sammy's favorite deodorant. We've been using them actually for the last couple of months. Last time I mentioned them in a video, a lot of you guys were saying that you also use them and really, really like them. So I thought that was super cool. One of the things I really like is that it applies in a really dry way, so it's not sticky. A lot of times other deodorants, when I put my shirt on, we'll get this big wet patch. It was super gross, I hate that so much. The scents are fire, there's like a ton of them. I don't even know how many, but there's a ton of different scents you can choose from. Me and Sammy, personally, we really like the cucumber and mint, which is one of them that we got. We also got the coastal oak and amber flavor this time, and we got the coconut and vanilla scent, which out of this batch, I think coconut and vanilla is my favorite scent now. It's really, 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 really good. Everything that they use in the ingredients are familiar, so it's like coconut butter and shea butter, things that you can actually pronounce, things that you're actually familiar with, which I think is really cool. And you can get all of these, usually it's $36 for the three of these deodorants, but you can actually get them right now for a special discount if you use my link and my code below this video, and it'll give you these three for $24. Ton of different scents, I highly recommend them. Me and Sam absolutely love them. Check them out, and also, thanks Native for supporting this video, I really appreciate it. How are you cold? I don't know, I'm cold. You got hella goosebumps. I know. It's like 82 degrees <laughs> outside. I know. All right, so what's going on? Tell me the story. So we are going to be making a vegan quiche. If you don't know what a quiche is, it's made of eggs and cheese and like various like vegetables. So we're going to be making it out of broccoli and mushrooms and cheese and onions. So I got this recipe. Well, I got the idea from vegetarian. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she's like an Instagrammer. She makes like really like pun punny punny like clothes yeah she's um, a good friend yeah of ours. she's a good friend of ours so i got the idea from her so yeah we're gonna make a quiche i'm really excited i used to make these when i wasn't vegan so i'm really excited to make it while we are vegan yeah so. this is one of your jams yeah so i'm super excited so we're gonna use the via life cheese which is our favorite Boom. and yeah so let's get started so i gotta cut up the onion first oh gosh people are gonna judge me on how i cut onions because it's not really good at all that's what the internet is for just to pick apart every little thing that you don't even care about. I'm really bad at cutting onions. <laughs> That's right, don't be self-conscious about your onions. 
All right, Sam's got onions, she's got broccoli. She's putting all this into a fry pan so we can saute it before we put it in the oven to make sure that it is not raw. She's also got a bunch of Baby Bella mushrooms that are sliced up, so this is kind of like a veggie portion of this meal. So we're gonna saute this for probably about five minutes until everything gets a little translucent and a little cooked down. Next step. A couple minutes later and this is what our veggies are looking like. We also added garlic in there because garlic's the flavor master. Now we are ready for the next step. Tell us what we're gonna do. You're, this is your meal. Okay, so we're gonna go veggies first. Let's do it. A few minutes later. All right, so we got our layer of veggies down there and then Sam's got her favorite cheese, which is veal life. Just go for it, you good. Veal life cheddar shreds. There we go, so we got the first layer of veggies and then now we're doing a second layer of that veal life cheddar cheese and then final layer of just egg. I think just doing the whole bottle? Yeah. Jeez, go for it. Did you shake it up first? Yeah, I did. A little chunky it's on this It's a little chunky, one. I did shake it. Yeah, that is the ugliest just egg I've ever I seen. I shook it. All right, second bottle of just egg going in. This time a little better shake, there we go. It's a lot of just it's egg. Good. We're gonna eat this forever. Okay, so like one and a half bottles of just egg, and then Sammy's doing a final topping. Some of that view life cheddar cheese. And then how long are we having bacon this bad boy for? Uh, 30 minutes, I think. 20, 30 minutes. All right, 20, 30 minutes at 400? 25 minutes at 400, it is. All right, let's put it in the oven. All right, this just came out the oven and look at that. Look how good here. Let me zoom in on a little brown crusty part. Damn, girl, you're looking good. 400 degrees at 40 minutes is what we found to be the perfect, I mean, if you want it to look like this. So we're gonna cut it up, put it on plates, and we'll show you what it looks like. We hobbled outside. We're ready to do this taste test. First time tasting it. It is completely untouched so far. So here we go. And I've already got a hair in my food. Just a little bit, of, just a little bit. You gotta keep the uh, original taste integrity. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know something's good when it immediately makes you go, wow. oh, that's tasty, instead of having to like wait for it? That's so good. That's fire. That's so bomb. That's something you can just get at a restaurant. That's so good. Wow, babe, I might have wow. to let you cook more often. I know, oh my gosh. Oh, also on the plate, I, I threw on some benevolent bacon, just as like a, a vegan bacon, it just like as a little bit of extra protein. It's like a wheat gluten, so like say tan. We just had a ton of extra bit. I put kale on the plate, just cause it would look better for the thumbnail. <laughs> look who we got. <laughs> just peeking her head over. We also have a really, really bomb last meal I wanna show you guys. All right, you guys have waited for it long enough. It's story time. How did I yeah. break my two bones? Here we go. We had to change location because I'm about to tell you the tale, an epic tale, a journey of how I broke two of my metatarsal bones. So there we were in LA. No, it's not, it's not, it's not that cool of a story, but it's a good story. Okay, so I was in LA last week because I was uh, gonna stay in Airbnb for a week to work on this acne project I've been working on for my other channel, Team Acne. And uh, I just got there on Monday night and I was in Marina Del Rey area, which is like right next to Venice. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna longboard because I've seen Nimai and, and uh, Chris Moore do it. And I'm like, that looks like a cool area to longboard. So I'm longboarding and then all of a sudden I just hear, Brian, Brian. And I'm like, oh, hey, speaking of, there's Nimai and Chris and one of the other friends. So we boarded around longboarding, like skateboarding for like an hour, two hours, something like that. We were having a super good time, a jolly fun time. Then we went to a parking garage um, and they have like these slight declines on each level so we were just going down the whole parking garage taking the elevator back to the top and going back down and it was super fun right and then Nimai's like you know it'd be really funny if we sit on our butts and tried scooting down and I'm like yeah that sounds amazing sign me up right so we're just like all having a good time Mario karting our butts around on lung boards and Nimai pulls his, his phone out to start filming us so he films me for a little bit and then I was like, well now I wanna put you guys on my story. So I pull my phone out. But the problem was the way I was sitting on the board, all my center of gravity was right in the middle of the board. And when I pulled out the phone, I stopped looking like forward and I started looking like right here. And then my center of gravity started getting a little wonky and we were on a decline. So then my board just starts wobbling, getting speed wobbles. My foot falls off the board and my big toe on my left side, my left foot catches the ground and so then my weight pushes me over my ankle. And so basically my 
my big toe rolled inwards, basically the opposite way you would roll an ankle normally. And like almost immediately, like I stood up and I was like, oh yeah, that's not good. I've broken some stuff, that's not good. And they were like, are you okay? And I'm like, mentally I'm fine, like I'm chilling, but I do know that physically I'm wrecked. We can't, I can't do anything, else. I gotta go back to the Airbnb, so bad. Uh, I literally like hobbled in and out. I had someone deliver groceries that was getting delivered before I knew I was gonna break my feet. And I had to go upstairs and downstairs with three loads of groceries. Literally the worst time of my life. But, came back down to San Diego the next day, canceled my Airbnb, we went to the hospital, got x rays and it turns out that I broke my third and fourth metatarsal bones which is like the middle bone of your midfoot in, in two places so that's the story that's how it happened everyone's been saying like you know I'm so I feel so bad for you I'm so sorry Nima was like ah, I feel bad that like you know I kind of like encourage you to do that. and I was like yo you know what it's so it's so fine here's my philosophy on life so many good things have been happening to me lately like literally my life is like lining up in the best of ways and like all these projects that I've been working on for so long are like unfolding and and taking place exactly how I want them. And so I was like, you know what? Things have been going too good. I almost like needed to have something bad happen or something unexpected to happen to like balance it out, you know? It's like yin and yang. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? I feel like balance is, is necessary and maybe it was just my time, but who knows. Anyways, prognosis is four to six weeks. I get a cast in two days from now. And so I'll be doing a lot of upper body, <laughs> just trying to keep something going. Um, but yeah, this will this will pass super fast, no big deal. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go inside and make another meal. Okay, so this next meal, dinner, is a classic. You are absolutely gonna love this. This is my favorite recipe as of the last couple weeks. This is actually in my recipe book, but I'll show you guys this recipe in full. Uh, but you guys should definitely check out the rest of my recipes in my recipe book, it's fire. So, let's jump into this. We're making some veggie pot pie. All right, first thing is first, you can like make your own dough, but I think it's so simple to get croissant rolls, which they didn't have, so we decided to get flaky biscuits. It'll definitely work best if you get croissant rolls. This brand has a vegan flaky biscuit, but they also have a croissant roll. So basically, you just wanna smush it into a glass pan, and then you're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes. That way, it's not completely raw when you put the filling in. So you can see we already cooked this about 10 minutes, and then this is gonna be the top of it once we put our filling in. So I'll show you how to make the filling now. All right, the cool thing about this recipe is you can fill it with whatever you want, but we're gonna keep it nice and basic. Now, this is about half the size of my regular recipe that's in my recipe book because we have a smaller pan today, but we have one potato instead of two potatoes in here that's boiled for about 10 minutes, so it's nice and soft. We're gonna throw in half a bag of mixed vegetables. So we got peas, carrots, and green beans. You know, generally you can also put like celery sticks in there. A lot of people like celery sticks, but we are also gonna add in some corn chicken pieces. So these are like little vegan chicken pieces made out of mushroom protein. This is just to add some protein in there. Clearly you don't need to do this if you don't want that extra protein. And then that's pretty much the filling. We're going to also put in here, in addition to about two cups, two and a half cups of water, we're gonna put another two and a half cups of veggie broth in here. Yeah, fill it up girl, fill it up. If it's not salty enough, you can just add salt. But now basically all we're gonna do is let this uh, get to like a boiling for about two minutes and then we're gonna thicken it up using flour. Okay, so now we're boiled up enough. Here's the secret with this is that it doesn't matter if you use too much liquid because you're going to basically just thicken this up with flour. So we're gonna start putting flour in now. Now the main recipe that is in my book is three quarter cup flour, but it's also for a way bigger batch. So we're just gonna add a couple spoonfuls of flour, stir it up, and then we'll kind of judge how thick it is. And here's the consistency that we're looking for. Like literally that's the perfect consistency. So again, just keep going, adding flour in and then making sure you stir it enough that you get like the chunks out and it'll end up being perfect. I also add a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of some pepper. Yeah, hook it up. Give me that good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I like right there. And then we're just throwing the top on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, wrap it around the sides. And so this is gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for roughly 20 minutes. Mainly the only thing you're worrying about is burning the edges of this. So check, you know, maybe at 15 minutes and see how it's looking. Other than that, it doesn't need to cook for any amount of time, you know, to like get anything like safe or anything because it's all plants. Bam. Okay, we'll check in with you in about 20 minutes. Ow, I totally just beefed it on the stairs. So like in my house, I have to go up and down the stairs. Um, and basically I have like this little thing where like I can put my knee on it, it's like a knee scooter. And so that helps with like moving around everywhere. But obviously there's no way to go up the stairs with it. So I just hop on one foot and y'all, I just 
dabbed a step, a step with my big toe and then just beefed it really hard. Yo, this is looking so good. Look at this big gigantic piece. Yes. So this makes enough servings for definitely more than one person. So I'm having some of this, Sam's having some of this. We have plenty of leftovers, but I, of course, I'm gonna do a bite for you guys because I feel like it's not a full day of eating if, if you aren't experiencing the flavorgasm with us. All right, perfect consistency. Mmm, it's so good. So I made this recipe a long time ago and then just recently it's come back in my life. Sometimes you forget how good the things you are that you've made like last year. Little like random pro tip. If you make something that you think is super bomb, put it in your notepad in your iPhone and just make a list of these. That way when you're like, how did I do those mushroom steaks or that seitan or whatever? Oh yeah, we gotta try that out again. So I give that a 10 out of 10. You absolutely need to try that. And with that, my beautiful friends and family, that brings us to the end of this full day of eating. I'm sorry it wasn't quite maybe as like extravagant as usual. I know I usually have a lot more like scenes going on and different things that I'm doing throughout the day, but <laughs> obviously I don't even need to explain myself. Broken foot, did my best. Last week, I actually thought about filming a full day eating the day after I broke my foot. And I, throughout the whole night, I was literally in so much pain. I didn't sleep for more than I think like two and a half, three hours. And I woke up and I was like, you know what? Maybe take one week off your channel for once. <laughs> and I'm really glad I did because today was a lot easier easier than it would have been yesterday or last week. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. Just want to say thank you guys so much always for supporting me. So many positive comments about my foot telling me to get better soon. I appreciate it. There's a few comments from people saying it's because I'm vegan and I broke my bones. Yeah, That's expected. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> uh, but for real though, I really appreciate you guys. I know right now in the world, it is a really weird time. Even for me, like I'm still just like, this is such a weird in California. Everything's locked down. It's just really weird time. So my heart goes out to all you guys. Positive vibes goes out to you guys. I hope you are having a great life. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Give me a week.